So now it's coming towards us. And there we go. We are passing 50 already. 52. Fifty-one, fifty-two. That's the max I'm getting right now, but it's still better because the last time we was getting only forty-three, forty-four. But now at least it's over fifty, so it's better than before. So as we can see here, we have uh, the screen lock feature added here now. Before we never had this kind of screen lock feature. It is a good security feature. You can lock your controller, and then only you will be having the access to your controller. But what if you forget your password? That is my question. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. DJI has just released a new software update for this DJI RC2. In this video, I'm going to figure out what is included in this new software update. So as we can see here, we have uh, the screen lock feature added here now. Before, we never had this kind of screen lock feature. Even if it is RC, RC2, RC Pro or even RC2 Pro, we never had this kind of feature. But they just released, but they just released a new software update. And the other thing which is released with this update is fixed fixed some noun issues so let's see what is fixed there maybe we have some improvements while we are flying the drone as well while using this rc2 controller and also let's see how does this screen lock feature works obviously we'll have to update the software first let's continue i'm gonna hit download so it's updating the software now it's gonna take a while and while it's updating the software i also have this dji flip with me and there was also a software update recently on this drone which have increased the speed on this drone and after updating the software on this dji rc2 i will use it on this dji flip and let's see if the speed is really increased on this drone on the normal mode this drone was giving me about 23 kilometers per hour and on the sports mode it was around 43 kilometers per hour but after updating this controller i will connect it to this dji flip and we will see in the settings if the speed has really increased and then we will take it for the test flight also and see how this controller is performing after the software update right now is updating is about 40 percent already so let it finish then we'll pair them together we will have the test flight on this dji flip and also we will test the speed on this drone let's get started in the end of this video i will also share my thoughts what i think about this latest software update we will see how does this screen lock feature works and is it really useful you can also share your thoughts in the comments below all right so my software is updated the aircraft is updated already controller is also updated to the latest software now now it's time to test the new feature especially the screen lock feature all right so let's see how does this feature work we have to go to the settings so here in the setting i guess yeah there we go we have this uh, security feature with the screen lock and it's just a basic function i don't guess you get any pattern lock at the moment you only get the password so you can just lock it with the password but what if but what if you forget the password that is the question all right so to set the screen lock click on it i'm just going to set a simple password all right to set the password it says uh, we have to mix up the letters uppercase lowercase and numbers so i'm just gonna mix them up and i guess it needs a special letter as well all right my screen lock is set so to test it we have to switch it off and switch it on again i'm gonna switch it off and let's switch it on back again and let's see and after we are going to switch it back on again it's gonna pop up the screen unlock feature like a cell phone so the screen lock is a handy feature in case if you lose your controller or your drone or if somebody steals it it is a safety feature so there we go we have the screen lock like a cell phone so we just need to swipe and put our password to unlock it so the after you unlock it will just load the DJI Fly app again and do the normal boot up it is a good safety feature so you can lock your controller so if somebody steals it he won't be able to unlock it but what if you forget your own password <laughs> and what you're gonna do well that is my question and I don't see i don't see any solution for that you can't reset this controller like a cell phone with the combination of keys so right now i don't see any solution for that so it is a good safety feature but if you forget your password then it's a problem all right we have tested the screen lock feature now now let's test out this dji flip i have also updated i have also updated to the latest software so now in this video i'm going to have 
a speed test on this drone i had the speed test on this drone before i will put the link down in the description you can check it out so on the normal mode this drone was giving me about 23 24 kilometers and on the sports mode even after changing the settings i could take it to maximum 43 kilometers but right now let me show you in the controller after the new software update let's check it out in the settings if you go to control gain and expo settings so here you can see the the normal mode here you can see the sports mode now we can go up to 57 kilometers that is a massive increase from 43 to 47 i don't know how they did it because uh, obviously the speed is coming from the motors not from the software so maybe there was some limitation on the motors because of its design they did limit it before but now they have increased the speed so let's test it out let's take it for a spin and let's see if it acts, if, if it can actually give us 57 kilometers all right i'm gonna take off this dj flip now and let's send it for a flight all right let me just take it above the trees first of all so we can just continue our speed test all right so here in the settings i have to make sure on the sports mode is on max this gain on uh, this gain and expo settings you have to set it on the max normal mode is already max but it's 28 kilometers it's not a big difference but on the sports mode here we can see from 43 to 57 that is a big difference all right so let's get started There we go. Let's see if it can actually give us 57. Right now, it's going 33, 34. Maybe I am going against the wind. So I will push it back from that side again. And let's see, maybe the, I, I guess the wind is coming from that side. So when I will be sending it back from that side, that, let's see. All right, so I think I guess he's going against the wind, and max I'm getting is 30. All right, let's face it back towards the home point. Let's push it again. All right, yes, I was correct. I was facing the wind, so now it's coming towards us, and there we go. We are passing 50 already. 52. Fifty-one, fifty-two. that's the max I'm getting right now but it's still better because the last time we was getting only 43 44 but now at least it's over 50 so it's better than before there my drone is going still 52 kilometers it's maintaining 53 also so obviously there is an increase in the speed all right let's test the auto return to home also and let's see if that one is also working properly so we know everything is in order even after the latest update because dji released the software update also for the dji fly app and the drone and the controller so let's test the auto return to home as well look at that camera quality it's pretty amazing So I've just sent it uh, 60 meters away. I'm gonna press the auto return to home now. Let's see if the auto return to home also is working properly. All right, so it's going up first. I guess my auto return to home altitude uh, is on 70. I'm gonna increase it, uh, decrease it. So the auto return to home altitude was 70 meters. So it went up 70, now it's coming back. Let's see how accurate it is going to land. I am just under the tree, so let's see what it's going to do. Landing. If, if it's going to stop above the tree or it's just going to <laughs> land on the tree. It's coming down now. Because this was my home point under the tree. But I can see the home point is almost exactly the same where I took off. So there the drone just
Yeah, my drone is back. So obviously the surface is not clear. So the auto return to home was also perfect because I was standing under the tree so the drone could not land it just stopped there above the tree but we just tested the speed speed is definitely increased on this drone so if you have not upgraded your software yet on this DJI flip you must do the software upgrade and you will see the massive increase in the speed on this drone on the sports mode and coming back onto this controller with this new software update it is a good security feature you can lock your controller and then only you will be having the access to your controller but what if you forget your password that is my question i'll see you in the next one ciao ciao